Good day guys, welcome back to another episode. In today's video, we're gonna be checking out Armorall's new Extreme Shield plus Ceramic Car Wash. So before we get this video started, I wanna give a huge shout out to all my subscribers, all my supporters of the channel. You guys are absolutely amazing, and I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you so much for all the great support you have brought to the channel with the thumbs ups, leaving comments, and all that. With that being said, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. Click the bell, turn on all post notifications so you don't miss a future upload. If this is content that you like or you enjoy and you're having a good time in here. And always remember, if you like the video, smash that thumbs up and drop a comment down below. But as I mentioned, in today's video, we're going to be checking out the Armorall's new Extreme Shield Plus Ceramic Car Wash. So Armorall has just released this. It hasn't been super, super long ago. Uh, the bottling, as you can see, it is very cool label. I like the chrome on it. One thing that I like a lot, it might be a little biased, but you can see right here is a Challenger that is all foamed down because, as you know, I love my Challenger. I just thought it was kind of funny there was one on there. It really is not going to make this product better or worse seeing that, but I just thought it was kind of cool. So I'm going to go over a few things that Armorall has to say about their new ceramic car wash. We will also see this being used. This is a disclaimer before we get this video started. Yes, the color I'm going to be using on is white, but I will do my best to show the water beads if it makes the surface beat up. But the reason why I'm using this, and you got to hear this first, is because there's no protection on it whatsoever. The water lays extremely flat on the panels, so if this stuff does add a little bit of protection or does make some hydrophobics onto the panel, we are going to see that. But I am also going to take this product and I'm going to put it on my test panel, which is a darker color. So I'm going to do a 50-50 on there. We're going to see on a darker panel if it adds any hydrophobics to it compared to the other side. And if it does, we're also going to take it through multiple washes, which will all be sped up because I'm kind of curious to see just using a regular car wash or a car shampoo or car soap, how many of those can you do two, three, four, who knows? We're going to wash that test panel down and we're gonna see if this will start fading, kind of how tough it is. Yes, I know that's not real world testing, but washing your car is real world. We're just not getting the dirt and the extended amount of time that is out in the sun and collecting all kinds of contaminants. So as I'm going over this product, what they have to say about it, I will do an overview of the pickup, showing you how dirty it is, what it looks like. I'll also show you how the water is laying flat on the panels. There's not any beading, there's not any paint protection on it whatsoever, so we can get a fill and see what that looks like as well. Armor All Extreme Shield Plus Ceramic Car Wash Dirt Repelling Formula creates a slick, durable, SiO2-based ceramic technology barrier that improves water beading and enhances shine. Ceramic technology creates a hydrophobic, invisible protective barrier on your vehicle surface. pH balanced, high foaming formula helps remove dirt and grime from vehicle surface without scratching. Works in a foam cannon. So those are just a few of the things on the back of the bottle here that they have highlighted and they label it as working in a foam cannon. If you've ever used any kind of a ceramic car wash or soap, you know that the foaming characteristics of it out of a foam cannon really aren't that good. So we're gonna be testing the foam cannon to see as well. And as you can see, this product is very, very watery, but we're gonna see how it does out of a foam cannon. Directions for use. Use it on a cool car, preferably in the shade. Hand washing directions. Rinse car to remove loose dirt. Pour two ounces of concentrate into bucket and mix with water. Work in four foot sections and gently agitate foam on the vehicle surface to set the ceramic technology. Thoroughly rinse each section as you complete. Dry with a soft, dry terry cloth, microfiber, or Cosmos. Foam cannon directions. When using a pressure washer, please refer to your owner's manual to ensure proper use. Add six to eight ounces of concentrate to a 32 ounce foam cannon liquid tank. Adjust concentrate to water ratios properly to bottle size. Fill rest of the tank with water. Shake to mix. Rinse the car to remove any loose dirt. Using foam cannon, spray the vehicle from top to bottom. Work in four foot sections. Gently agitate the foam on the vehicle surface to set the ceramic technology. Thoroughly rinse each section as you complete. Dry with a soft, dry terry cloth or Cosmos. So one thing I want to hit on is on the back with their directions. Uh, some of it to me is... I wouldn't say confusing, but it's a little bit weird because they say to pour two ounces of concentrate into bucket mixed with water. Well, how much water? The two ounces, are we mixing two ounces with five gallons of water or are we mixing two ounces with three? They don't really specify there. They do specify the six to eight ounces for a 32 ounce foam cannon. 
Um, so we will adjust that accordingly. But if you read this by the directions, one thing that the way I take it is for the foam cannon directions, it's saying basically to foam your whole vehicle from top to bottom, take your wash mitt, agitate each section in a four foot section and then rinse it, move to the next. They're not mentioning using a bucket. Um, if that is the directions and that's how you take it, I highly, highly suggest not doing that. The foam cannon, what you're doing is you're putting that foam on. It's to loosen up any of the dirt, dust, grime that is on the surface. Basically, the foam is gonna encapsulate that. It's going to pull it down the surface and just drip down onto the ground. So if you are introducing a wash mat onto that, you're basically gonna be picking up all the dirt that is on that surface that the foam is encapsulated and you're gonna be rubbing it into the surface because it is not saying to use a bucket wash method while using the foam cannon. So personally, that's the way I take it. I would highly suggest not doing it that way. So what I'm going to do, what I like to do is I'm going to foam the whole thing down and then I'm gonna let the foam kind of dwell. It's gonna attack that dirt, pull it down, and then I'm going to go ahead and rinse the whole pickup. After that, that's when I'm gonna come in with my bucket wash, and my hand wash, my contact wash using this, and then we will agitate and we'll gently agitate this to set the ceramic properties that they're claiming onto the panels. We'll go over how it suds up, any lubrication, how the lubrication is, smell, cleaning power, and then of course, does it do as they claim of putting some kind of paint protection onto the surface. So let me go ahead and get everything set up. Let's get out here, let's check it out. Let's see how this stuff performs out of the foam cannon, also how it does. You're gonna wanna stick around. I'm gonna try to make the video as quick as possible because I don't wanna stretch it on too long because I do wanna show it on my pickup. But basically we're just gonna be seeing, as I mentioned, the water flat, if it adds any protection, if it beads, and then we're gonna move to the test panel. The test panel is gonna be something that I think you guys are gonna be very interested and curious in seeing. So definitely stay tuned for the test panel to see what it does on there. Okay, so as you can see, I have roughly about two ounces in here maybe a hair more, maybe right on. It is very, very watery. There's nothing wrong with that, but we're gonna dump it in the bucket. We're gonna see how the stuff suds up, what kind of suds we get out of it. And then we'll also see if there's any lubrication to these suds. So we're gonna get this bucket ready and then we're gonna get into the foam can, but I'm just curious to see the suds that this will generate. So as you can see, it does suds up very nice. We'll come in and we'll look at these suds. So a lot of bigger suds, nothing small. And lubrication to these suds, really nothing that great at all. They really don't offer a whole lot of lubrication. There's a little bit, don't get me wrong, but it is definitely not the best that I've, I have seen or I have felt. It is uh, very low on lubrication for the suds and for the soap. But that doesn't mean it's bad, so let's go ahead and check out the foam cannon, see how it suds with that, and then wash with this and see if it will offer some sort of a paint protection or basically like a maintenance wash that you can do with this if your car already has some paint protection on it just to kind of boost and add in that protection. The suds do cling very well into the wash mitt. They're just not that slick. But let's go ahead and check out the foam cannon. So my foam cannon is a 33 ounce basically foam cannon. And as you can see right here, we are just basically just a right on the eight ounce mark, maybe a little shy, nothing bad. So we'll go ahead, pour this in. I've already got nice warm water in my foam cannon. We'll get this poured in, we'll get it shaken up and we will start foaming. But before we start foaming or washing, I'm gonna show you how flat the hood is and a few other panels so we can see how flat the surface is. I know it is white, I know it's hard to see, but please bear with me. We will get onto the test panel so you can see it on there as well. So as you can see, there is not any beading, any paint protection on here. So the panel is very flat in the sun right here. You can see there is water on the panel. I did wipe through it. So the panel is very, very flat. Let's check out a few more real quick. Over here on the side of the fender. And once again, no protection. So the whole pickup is like this. We will come back, we will look at the spots, but there's not any paint protection, there's no beading, there's not anything on here. 
So onto the foam can, let's see how this stuff will foam out of the foam cannon. So as you can see, it does foam better than I was expecting. It foams really nice. The suds are a bit thicker, a bit heavier. They are runny, but you can see it is just piling up. So this is what I was talking about. This right now, I know this is not a pre-wash, but it is soap. It is breaking down any loose dirt or contaminants that is on there. It's encapsulating them. It's pulling them down off the surface. It's dripping off. This is not where you're gonna to wanna to come in with your wash mitt and do a four foot by four foot section. This is where you're gonna to wanna to come in and rinse the whole thing down, then come back with your wash mitt and do a bucket wash. If you want to, you can foam it a second time for the extra lubrication or lubricity that this may have to offer and then wash it with your wash mitt using a bucket, but do not skip using a bucket to keep your pad and mitt clean. Overall, very impressed with how this stuff is foamed. Is it the best foam? No, but it's not labeled as a snow foam. You can see it is pulling off the surface rather fast. It's not clinging or sticking on, but it's not labeled as a snow foam. It just says works in foam cannons. And I would say, yes, absolutely. It does work in foam cannons. Basically, I just wanna show how this stuff rinses off. Uh, does it rinse off hard? Does it rinse off easy? So let's find out. So as I'm rinsing off, I know, like I said, it's hard to see, but we are now getting beading. I haven't even agitated to activate the SiO2 as a claim, uh, but we are now getting beading. We did not have any beading on the panel, so it is working as I mentioned, but we are still going to do the contact wash to see how well this stuff performs. So we are getting lots of beading. Very impressive to see. As you can see all the beads there, this was all flat. So there still is higher surface retention because there's still dirt on the panel. Uh, you can see that it is not, like I said, it is not a pre-wash. So it is not attacking this stuff, this built up dirt that has just ran off from rainstorms and snowstorms. Gonna have to have a contact wash. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep rinsing all this and then we'll come in for the contact wash. So you can see that there is water beading. I do have to say, I'm actually very, very impressed. I did not think that it was going to do this, but I feel that angle right there does show the water beading. We have not done a contact wash. So like I mentioned, with dirt on the surface, you're still going to have a higher surface retention, not allowing the beads to get tighter, but very impressed because this panel was extremely flat. You can see the beads. I know some of you do not like the white paint, but you can see the beads everywhere. So that is what I was wanting to show all the way down the side of the pickup. And just from using the foam cannon and rinsing, very impressed that it just did this. So it's kind of got me like, okay, not too bad of a product. And I think it would have its place as a maintenance product. Let's come in for the contact wash. One thing I do want to show is I always like to get my bucket ready. The suds have already diminished in my bucket. Um, so it's not gonna be hard. Just take the uh, pressure washer, put it back in and get those suds back up. But that is one thing to note, the suds don't last super long. <laughs> So coming in, putting the wash mitt to the surface for the first time, 
seeing how this feels. Um, there is some slickness. It's not, it's actually slicker than I thought it was gonna be. We're feeling the lubricity on my fingers out of the suds. Um, so there is some slickness. Once again, not the best that I have felt, um, but it is there. So that is just one thing to note, is just know that there's not a ton of lubrication with this car wash. Uh, so scratching or marring or swirling can be induced with using it. But overall, pretty impressed with the hydrophobics that it adds for just a uh, simple little wash. Coming in, we'll rinse the surface off that we just hand wash here real quick. So one weird thing, once you start hand washing, it goes to a very quick sheeting product. We'll get on a uh, side fender where we can see it a little bit better, but it goes to a very fast sheet. So as you can see on the side fender, um, it's not beating. <laughs> it's kind of flat. There is water still on the surface. I'll come in so you can see. So you can see my fingers that I just drug through the water there. Definitely interesting. When we get it on the test panel, we'll check it out. You can see across the hood that there is some smaller beads. I think this will be a lot better on that darker test panel. So basically, we are going to wrap it up on the pickup. We'll move to the test panel. Uh, that's just gonna conclude showing how well it works with a foam cannon, um, and then also putting a wash mitt to the paint on my pickup to see the lubricity. But I'm definitely getting some uh, very odd results. So we'll see if we can mimic them on the test panel and see if the same thing happens. Okay, so here is the test panel. Pickup's done. It looks good, it's clean. Panels aren't slick when you fill them with your finger. So we are moving to the test panel. I have basically just taped off one side because I want this so we can see what it was like before. So we're gonna be foaming this side like I did on the pickup. And then I'm also going to wash it by hand after rinsing the foam off. We'll see if we can replicate the same problem. I also have some soap left in my bucket and I have a reserve in the foam cannon from doing the pickup, so that is very cool. So we're using the same amount, the same stuff, so hopefully we can replicate the weird stuff, I guess that you'd say, that I was seeing on the pickup. So the first thing I did on the pickup was rinsed it, so we'll just rinse this real quick. So you can still see that there is some sheeting and some beading on this panel. There is not any product left on this panel. The reason why it's doing that is because I have paint corrected this panel and prepped it for a test like this, although I was not really anticipating uh, having to do it with this armor all, but let's see what it'll do. So as I mentioned, I am impressed with the foam generated from the foam cannon with this product, but uh, I don't know. We'll have to keep doing some testing, but that's kind of as far as it goes right now. I hate bashing on a product and I'm not bashing on it. That's why we're using this test panel is to get to the bottom of what is going on. Now you can see that it is completely went to a beading. You can see the beads. This is what I was seeing on the pickup. I know that it was hard to see on the camera, but there are some nice, small, tight beads. So the panel does look very good. We'll hit it one more time with some water and we'll see the beading. It sheets real quick and then it starts to bead. So as you can see there, there is some protection. So let's come in and wash it by hand. I know there is a few varying differences, like this panel being completely paint corrected and my pickup was not, but I really hope we can replicate what we were having on the pickup. So as you can see the suds, there is some suds, but it is very watery. This product is, is kind of strange like that. Um, 
it's it's very different not a lot of lubrication as you can see it takes a lot to push the wash mitt you can't just twirl it around so not much lubrication with this product as i was mentioning let's go ahead and get this rinsed off and see if it has changed So as you can see there, that's what I was seeing on the pickup. That beading property has basically diminished. Yes, it is sheeting quickly. It is doing something, but it is not as good as it is when you foam it. Let's hit it one more time. So very, very strange. I, I feel that I have replicated the same problem. Like I said, the pickup has not been paint corrected, so it was definitely a lot slower than that, but we have lost that beading property. Let me peel up this tape line and this trash bag that I have on here and see if we can tell a difference because this side is gonna be like this was right before we foamed it and did a contact wash. So we've now got the trash bag off. Let's hit this whole panel with water and see how it looks and see if we can tell a difference from either. <laughs> My bad, I accidentally hit the trigger, but see if we can tell a difference between the two sides. So right there, as you can see, the right side that has not any any protection, anything on it, it's been paint corrected. You can still see, because paint is going to naturally try to beat up, it's going to look basically like that. On the other side, it is sheeted. Yes, the panel is clear and free of anything, but I do not see really any difference with using this. I'm gonna hit it one more time, let's take another look. So basically the panel looks the same. We have lost that great beading property that we had when we foamed it over here. So now what I'm gonna do, cause I know with any product that claims to have SiO2s in it, we are going to go ahead, just dry this panel. I'm gonna let it sit for 24 hours. I'm gonna let it have a 24 hour cure time, even though they don't claim that it needs a cure time. There's nothing stated about that. Let's let it have a cure time. We'll come back in and see, is there a difference from either side? Because right now, basically there's really not a difference um, this side is just kind of beating up with some oblong beads like you see just on a clean paint. Uh, the side that we washed over here, yes, it does sheet and get off the surface, but we lost that beading property and it is dry, but there's really no difference in the slickness of either side. Let me get this dried up. I got something very interesting that I want to look at and see, and then we'll give the 24 hour cure time. So they claim that it enhances shine. So let's go ahead and get a reading. We're 89.4. This is on the side we haven't done anything to. 91.3. Move down here. 93.1. So we're, these are the readings, 92.5. These are the readings we're getting on the paint corrected side. Come over to where we just foam cannon and washed. 91.9. Ninety-two point one, ninety-one point nine, eighty-eight point nine, eighty-nine. Might have had the eighty-eight because we've got some scratching in the door down here, but there's eighty-eight point nine. So enhances shine to the naked eye with those gloss numbers from the paint corrected side to the side that we use that on, you're, you're not gonna notice a difference. You're not gonna see a difference. That's why we do not see a 50-50 line anywhere in this. Uh, really not any slickness on the side that it's used on compared to the side that it's not. So really not seeing a difference here. But as I mentioned, we will now give it 24 hours. So maybe, hopefully there's some SiO2 properties in this and the 24 hours will let a, a cure time. 
I say cure time because I don't know. Maybe after that cure time, we will see a difference. So if we see a difference, this side should beat up better than this side. It shouldn't be the same like it is now. Uh, this is just sheeting a little bit more. So we'll come back in, we'll see. We'll also do, you know, we will hit it with just some regular car soap. We will see how quick it diminishes if there is something there. If there's not, we will not do that because there really won't be a need for it. And then we'll get into my final thoughts. So here we are 24 hours later. Let's get some gloss readings real quick just to see if the cure time has helped. 90.4. 89.6 come over here to the side we did not apply it to 93.7 so that is interesting 93.2 89.9 so we do not have that grade of gloss readings there's a 92.1 so there's really no difference at all 91.3 let's get some water on this panel and let's see there's not any difference in gloss or shine um, but let's get some water on here see maybe if the beading this 24 hours later is better on the left side where that has been washed with the armor all ceramic shampoo um, I, I don't really know but let's check it out so we're just gonna come in and we're gonna hit it with a light mist to see if there's any kind of beading So as you can see on the door there, the beading looks exactly the same on both sides. Let's put a little more water on it. And once again, it still looks the same. Uh, let's come in, let's flood the panel out and see maybe, maybe it'll just sheet it off better. I would say possibly a little bit quicker sheeting. Let's. If the sheeting is any quicker, it is very, very marginal. Um, I got some Adams car shampoo, which is just a nice pH neutral balanced uh, car shampoo. I'm gonna come in, we're gonna scrub it down real quick. We'll rinse it. We'll see if the water gets off the panel any quicker. Uh, but I think that is pretty much gonna be a bust from this point, but we gotta, we gotta fully dive into this product and check it out. So with the brush and the shampoo, I am not noticing any differences in the slickness. But one thing you can see is it's kind of repelling the soapy water maybe slightly better and i am talking slightly let's rinse this down So with just one wash, you can see it's sheeting exactly the same on both sides. I'm gonna hit it real quick one more time. So right there, as you can see, sheeting exactly the same. That's just two washes with a pH neutral soap. So it's not going to strip that protective layer that they claim is going to be on there. And kind of disappointed, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really feel the need to get the blower out or to dry this panel. Um, basically at this point, it has answered my question. So let's get into the final thoughts. All right, so for me, for the Armor All Extreme Shield Plus Ceramic Car Wash, uh, you can see how much I used because I used the two ounces in the bucket, then I also used close to eight ounces in the foam cannon. So I wanna hit on a few things. This isn't a typical video of mine because I'm not, I'm not bashing a product, I'm not gonna bash this product, but it also didn't perform like I was hoping it would perform. Let me break down a few things. One thing, one reason I think that we saw the water beading from the panels being flat from when we use the foam cannon and rinsed is because you're using eight ounces of this in a foam cannon. So you are very, very heavily applying this to your paint. You rinse it and you've got to see those hydrophobic properties. In the wash bucket, it wasn't a full five gallons, about two and a half gallons is what I had in there. And two ounces for two and a half gallons 
really isn't that much, but there is some shampoos, some car soaps that do only take two ounces for five gallons, and I had two and a half gallons. So it is being very, very diluted. Basically, you're washing that hydrophobic layer off uh, that you did with the foam cannon coming in for a contact wash with this. Uh, this stuff does not, it doesn't, like I said, I'm, I don't want this video to come across as I'm bashing Armor All. I'm not bashing Armor All, but this stuff does not have very much lubrication, very much lubricity in it. Uh, therefore, you're going to induce chances of scratching, swirling, marring your paint, doing a contact wash uh, because of the low lubrication in this car wash. It does foam very, very nice. I was very impressed with the foam with this product, but that's kind of where it stopped for me. It, I wouldn't say it stopped there. I foamed, I saw the water beating when I rinsed, and I was starting to get pretty excited. And then I came in for the contact wash and the panels went flat, and that's where I started kind of, uh, kind of losing my hope for this product. So they do have a little picture of a bucket and a foam cannon. It does work very well in a foam cannon. In the bucket, the suds diminish very, very quickly. The suds will not stay in your bucket for a whole wash on a car or a pickup. They will be gone, and it's pretty much just going to be water with two ounces of your soapy solution in there. So the suds don't stick around. Low lubrication, low suds. That's where you're going to come in, and you're going to induce scratches, swirls, marring to your paint when you're washing with this. I think if you used a lot of this product, I think if you used 8 to 10 ounces in your wash bucket, you're going to probably see better results. But as they stated, I went off of what they state and how to use this product. So all in all, I personally would not recommend this product. Um, the reason why I wouldn't recommend it is because it doesn't do as claimed. It's not putting an invisible shield to repel dirt and dust to have the hydrophobic properties. The cleaning power of it, as you're starting to use it, the cleaning power is lacking. It doesn't have a lot of cleaning power, but they do state that this is a pH neutral formula. So maybe it's just a little bit softer on the paint, a little bit softer on the dirt, and it's not just getting in there, attacking the dirt, cleaning the surface, stripping any kind of old waxes or anything. So that's, that's good there. I didn't have any old waxes to test that on, so kind of take that with a grain of salt as well. Uh, but personally, it works well out of a foam can. It works really well. If you want to foam this on, so what you could do is completely wash your vehicle, come in with your foam cannon with this, load it up with the 8 ounces, spray that 8 ounces on, you can see the hydrophobic properties, rinse it down, and you're going to see the beading, and then leave it at that, towel dry. But, so with this Armor All Extreme Shield Ceramic Car Wash, I had my hopes up really, really high for this product. It did let me down. It let me down on the suds in the bucket, the lubrication, the cleaning power, and then also not leaving any sort of protection behind as we got to really see on the test panel. Um, but it was worth a shot. I really liked using it. Uh, so please don't take this video as me bashing this product. I'm not bashing it. Um, I wanted to try it out. That's why I picked it up. I bought it at Walmart. I saw it there. I was really stoked about it. I was like, yes, let's get some review videos for you guys. You know, we're starting to see all the ceramic technology and stuff. This may be another good soap that we need to shine some light on, but it kind of fell short. <laughs> so like I said, I'm not trying to bash this product at all. Um, it just, it wasn't for me. It might be for some of you. Some of you might use it and have better results than I did. And that is totally fine. We all have different results out of different products. Just for me, personally, I didn't have the results that I was wanting or looking for for this product. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's not the normal of, yeah, this product is great, go out and get it, two thumbs up. It's not the normal of that video. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this content, you liked seeing this. If I did something wrong, please drop that down in the comments below. Or if you use this product and you get good results out of it, a lot better than I get, but you're doing something different, please drop that in the comments below. Let me know. Uh, I'm up to trying anything or whatever with this product. But with that being said, I want to thank all of you so much for stopping in and checking out this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that thumbs up. If you didn't, feel free to smash the thumbs down. Let me know how you guys enjoyed the video. Also, drop a comment down below of what you thought of it. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you have not. Click the bell, turn on all post notifications so you don't miss another future upload. And I look forward to seeing your guys' comments in the comment section. I will definitely get back to all of you in the comment section. So uh, please share your thoughts and opinions uh, with me on this product and everyone else in the chat of the comments of this video. But thank you all so much for stopping in, and I will catch you all in the next one. And until then, take care. Mm -hmm.